Hey guys, this is Roxy Diaz for PETA 2. In our house, we grew up with, at, at a certain time, there was no pork in the house. So that was like the first thing to go. Because of the respect of my mother, I decided, okay, I'm not gonna eat pork anymore, and felt fine. And so I'm no, no longer eating pork, and now by college, I'm giving up red meat, just because I wanted to see how long it could last. And then later on, Literally, I saw somebody eating the chicken wing and it grossed me out. And it was the first time my body was like, no more. I don't want it anymore. I physically felt cleaner and, and lighter. These factory farms, they're creating unhealthy animals for you to even eat now. Or the process and the things that they shoot in these animals now. Since a few years ago, I've seen grocery stores actually change to be more welcoming to a vegetarian person's diet. And it's not as hard as it used to be going to your local supermarket trying to find a substitute. You have now these sections and supermarkets that are dedicated to people who are vegetarian. I think that this generation is a lot easier to open up and be a vegetarian. I went to a barbecue. I don't hold it against anybody. I bring my own veggie links, you know, I bring my own hot dogs. And I gave it to the guy to grill them. I go back to get my hot dogs. They were all gone. So I went around telling everybody, you know you're eating tofu hot dogs. I just want to let you know. And they ate them all and they had no idea. So I think sometimes when you sneak it in there to some of your friends, that's also an easier way of helping them transition is showing them what else they could use to substitute. For more information on vegetarianism, you can log on to PETA2.com.